So as the third experiment, we are going to understand the utility of a basic building block made out of the opac, okay, which is called uh, an integrator or actually another one called differentiator. We have to find out which is superior in its application for building filters. Filters are essentially blocks which are improving the signal to noise ratio so that uh, you can further process the signal okay, uh, with the uh, least effect from the noise. And such filters are built, you, uh, are nothing but uh, differential equations solved essentially. And these differential equations can be either solved by using integrator as the building block or uh, the differentiator as the building block. So we will investigate which is superior in practice uh, either this or that. This is the integrator block. When VI is applied, the current injected into the up amp is VI by R to its virtual ground. Because this is held at zero, this also is very nearly zero. So the current in this is VI by R and that current is charging the capacitor and developing a voltage here which is uh, VI by R into 1 over SC and it is positive with respect and negative with respect to the ground. This is at 0 volts. So we have minus Vi by SCR as the output voltage. Here the R and C are interchanged, then the operation gets interchanged. Vi is driving a current in this is which is Vi into SC and that current flows through this R and develops a voltage which is minus SCR into Vi and therefore it is differentiated. So now because of the finite gain magnet product these blocks are going to have their behavior changed and that study is very important in deciding which building block is superior. And when we do that, it is the same thing, minus 1 by SCR divided 1 plus 1 over GL is the actual uh, transfer function of the system and if you substitute GL which is the loop gain, which is gain of the op amp which is GB by S into SCR by 1 plus SCR. This is going to act in the loop like a high pass filter whose transfer function is this. And if you introduce this in this, you will see that this integration is having an error. And the magnitude error is controlled by this GB into CR, which is fixed. And the phase error is directly proportional to the frequency of the input signal. Okay? And uh, uh, it is a phase lag error which is omega by GB and therefore the phase error keeps on increasing as frequency increases. So instead of giving you the 90 degree phase shift, there will be a further lag of uh, omega by GB uh, approximately. Okay, for this. this you are going to study by obtaining the frequency plot of the integrator its gain. There is one limitation however, if it is used like this, a standalone integrator has a problem because there is no DC feedback, okay? There is this offset, which is typically in the case of up amps, about few millivolts, okay? It is going to be amplified by the DC gain, which is thousands uh, or maybe hundreds of thousands. And therefore, op amp output is invariably in saturation, okay? So in order to bring it out of saturation, you might have to put a high resistance in feedback, which will make it do not exactly the integration, it will be non-ideal integration. Again, the phase error is going to come into picture. So, however, this particular differentiator on the other hand has DC feedback and therefore automatically the output is going to stay at input offset, okay, which is very small and you can therefore apply it. However, this has a disadvantage as you see here, the transfer function now change from minus SCR which is the ideal to a second order denominator which is always indicated by the second order denominator we had seen in the uh, sort of filters etc control systems also can be represented as uh, natural frequency omega naught there and omega naught in the Q. That means omega naught, the natural frequency of the system, that is equal to GB divided by R. 
and this Q is going to be omega naught into Q is equal to GB. Okay, so it is going to be GB into. So that means it will start ringing. It is going to be a system which is under damped and it will start ringing the moment there is a disturbance here. So whenever there is any disturbance outside, okay, even somebody starting a scooter is going to cause a pickup voltage, a sudden change, and that will cause the output to uh, ring at the natural frequency. This is a nuisance in the filter circuit that we have to wait until the output comes to steady state. And this you are going to examine by applying a square wave here. Okay, uh, You should get impulses here, but you will get impulses with ringing. Right? If you feel a triangular wave, you get a square wave here with ringing right here. Okay? And the number of such ring uh, peaks will be directly proportional to Q. Okay? So if Q is 10, it will be uh, ringing almost 10 times before it comes to steady state. The no such problem is that this still remains as a first order system okay? uh, as far as the denominator is concerned and therefore this is going to only cause additional phase error okay? in the response and therefore this does integration uh, fairly closely than this doing differentiation. So the integrator is having only the offset problem. However, this offset problem is not there in filter design because of overall positive and negative feedback. And as far as this is concerned, because of this noise causing output to become very sensitive for the differentiator, these differentiators are never used in filter design. So we have uh, rejected the differentiator okay, on the basis of its poor performance okay, for uh, uh, disturbances and selected the integrator because it is sluggish for uh, sudden disturbances and it is quite convenient for us to use this as the basic building block and therefore we will feed a, a triangular uh, wave here also and see that it will be a parabolic wave here and without any disturbance. Whereas uh, that we will have a triangular wave converted to a square wave with disturbance. Okay. Further we will feed here a square wave and we can get a triangular wave. Okay. And uh, you will measure the peak to peak uh, value of the triangular wave and thereby uh, determine the RC time constant of the integrator. So this uh, experiment and in addition to the frequency response of this okay now in order to obtain the frequency response of it to prevent it from going to saturation we will put a large resistance across it and then only obtain the frequency response of this steady state frequency response whereas there is no such trouble that is needed for obtaining the frequency response of this the frequency of uh, response of this however uh, will be showing uh, creaking Okay, because of uh, the fact that it is not just differentiating okay, and therefore uh, it is going to behave like almost like a band pass filter. Okay. So and this peak depends upon the Q of the system. Okay. So essentially speaking right, the frequency response of this should be uh, just a line, okay, straight line going all the way. Okay, indicating that the output is directly proportional to frequency. Because of finite gain bandwidth effect, it will have this kind of response. Right? 